In this video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to install macOS Monterey on VMware Workstation Pro. This tutorial will make the process easy and smooth. Stick around till the end, I'll provide solutions to the most common issues and performance tweaks to get the best out of your virtual machine. Before we begin, ensure that virtualization is enabled on your computer. To verify this, right-click on an empty area of the taskbar and select Task Manager. Then, go to the Performance tab, where you can confirm if virtualization is active. If not, click the card above to watch a quick tutorial on how to do it. Additionally, check the top right corner of the Performance tab to identify your CPU type, either AMD or Intel. We'll need this information later. Next, we'll download and install VMware Workstation Pro, which is currently free for personal use. To make things easier, I've included the download link in the video description. Just click the link and it will take you straight to the download page. On the download page, scroll down and select VMware Workstation Pro Download. It will take you straight to Broadcom, the developers page. If you already have an account like I do, simply sign in. If not, click the button in the top right corner to create one. Once signed in, you'll see a list of options. Click on this option here for Windows users. Next, select the latest release at the top of the list. Accept the terms and conditions. Now click the download button to begin your download. After the download completes, navigate to the Downloads folder and double-click the file to begin the installation. Install it just like any other program. If you're using the program for commercial purposes, please purchase a valid license and enter it here. For personal use, simply click Finish to proceed. Next, we'll need to download Auto Unlocker for VMware. You can find the link in the video description. Click here to access the latest release, then select this option to begin the download. Once the download is complete, navigate to your download folder to install Auto Unlocker. Extract the file using WinRAR or another extraction program of your choice. Open the extracted folder and double click the file to begin the installation process. Click Patch and hold on until you see this small pop-up window. We're now ready to create our virtual machine. Launch VMware and select Create a new virtual machine to get started. Click Next, then select Installer Disk Image File. Next, click Browse and choose the ISO file for macOS Monterey. The download link is in the video description. Click Next, then use the drop-down menu to choose the macOS version, selecting macOS 12. Next, give a name to your machine. Click Next to allocate space for your machine. I'll choose the recommended option of 80 gigabytes. Click Customize Hardware if you'd like to adjust the amount of RAM or the number of CPU cores allocated to the machine. 
However, I'll stick with the recommended settings for now. Click Close and Finish. Before starting our machine, we need to make some adjustments to the configuration file. Click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. And from the tab Hard Disk SATA, copy the path to the virtual machine. This step is only for AMD-based computers. Open Windows Explorer and paste the path to your virtual machine. In the folder, locate the file type VMware Virtual Machine Configuration. Open this file with Notepad. We need to add some additional lines to the text. Copy the lines provided in the video description and paste them into the configuration file. Save the file and you're ready to start your machine. Start VMware and select Power on this virtual machine to begin the installation process of Mac OS Monterey. Starting now, it's important to be patient as the installation process may take several minutes or even over an hour, depending on your computer's specifications. Feel free to pause the video and return to it once each step is completed. Stay with us as we'll cover several crucial points to ensure your machine runs as smoothly as possible. You can now pick your desired language. Next, select Disk Utility and click Continue. Then choose VMware Virtual SATA Hard Drive Media from the list. Click on Erase at the top of the window. Enter a name for the machine and leave the other two options unchanged. Click Done to complete the process, then close the Disk Utility window. Next, select the option to install Mac OS Monterey. Continue. Agree to the terms and conditions. Select the disk we created and click Continue. This step may take several minutes to complete, and it might seem to stall at around 12 minutes or even less than a minute. It's best to let it run until it finishes. In my case, it took over an hour, but eventually it started making progress again. Additionally, ensuring you have enough storage on your computer is crucial for this process. If you're still watching at this point, like and subscribe, and if you encounter any issues, please feel free to leave a comment below. Stay tuned. The next step involves installing VMware tools, which will significantly enhance your machine's performance. Once the installation is complete, you can select your region. Click Continue. Accessibility options. You can set it up or click Not Now. Here you can import your data from another device. I'll just hit Not Now to continue. To sign up or log in using your Apple ID, we need to adjust some settings on the virtual machine. To keep things concise, I've created a separate video that explains how to set up iServices on this machine. Just click the card above to check it out. Now I will just hit Not Now to continue. Click Agree to the terms and conditions. Now you can create a username and a password for your machine.
enable location services on this Mac and hit continue. Hit set up later or continue depending on your choice. Choose your mode either dark or light. Don't worry, you can change this later. Right click on this CD icon and select Eject. If you click on the Apple icon and select About This Mac, you'll notice that the display memory is only a few megabytes. This limited memory significantly impacts the machine's performance, causing it to run slowly. To resolve this issue and enhance the speed, we need to install VMware tools. Close this window. If you try go to the top left corner of the screen and click on VM and select Install VMware Tools, you might encounter this error. It means the installation must be done manually. To do this, to do this download VMware Tools from the link provided in the video description and follow the next steps. After downloading the file, unzip or extract its contents. Now click on VM on the top left corner of the screen and select Removable Devices and then CD, DVD, SATA, and then Settings. Click Browse, then navigate to the location of the extracted VMware Tools file and select it. Click OK, then click again on VM. Removable Devices, CD, DVD, and then Connect, Now click on Install VMware Tools and follow the steps. There you have it. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.